dear students in today's session we are going to see how to find the eigen values from the given matrix either the matrix is symmetric or it is non symmetric the procedure is going to be the same so to find the eigen values first of all it should be a square matrix so let us consider this example it is symmetric that is okay whether it is symmetric or non symmetric we are going to follow the same method to find the eigen value we need to find the characteristic equation what is characteristic equation a minus lambda i when you take the determinant and when we equate to zero this is called your characteristic equation so now we know our a since a is a 3 cross 3 matrix we know the basics what is mean by identity matrix for a 3 cross 3 matrix 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 this is the identity matrix and lambda is some real number so now we have to subtract a with lambda i so when i multiply lambda i it will become lambda lambda and lambda so now i have to find a minus lambda i and then i have to take the determinant and then i have to equate to zero like this then after expanding this determinant i will be getting the equations like this and when you simplify you will be getting a cubic equation this is my characteristic equation from this equation if i found the roots the roots are my eigen values that's it students but now we are not going to use this method because there are many non max students also there in the group even the max students will feel some difficulty to convert the matrix into this form and expanding this and getting the cubic equation even you do a small minus plus error will lead to the whole problem get collapsed so i don't prefer this method so let us go into a alternate method so first write the characteristic equation is a minus lambda i equal to 0 so that is equivalent to lambda q minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus s3 equal to 0 this is the case for 3 cross 3 matrix if you have 2 cross 2 matrix we start from lambda square remember the sign should be plus minus plus minus plus minus etc if it is a 2 cross 2 matrix we start with lambda square minus s1 lambda plus s2 we have to stop here our job is to find what is s1 s2 s3 when i substitute i'll be getting the correct cubic equation so let us explore how to solve this s1 is going to be the sum of the main diagonal or sum of the leading diagonal entries s2 is going to be the minors of the main diagonal entries and s3 is going to be the determinant of a so when i say theoretically you may have little confusions let us go into the problem and solve the problem so this is the characteristic equation and i want to find s1 s2 s3 so what is s1 as i said sum of the leading diagonal elements so this is the leading diagonal element just add 1 plus 5 plus 1 that is 7 this is my s1 next s2 s2 is the sum of the minors of the leading diagonal element so the first diagonal element is 1 now we have to neglect that row and column and we are going to write the 2 cross 2 matrix if we neglect this first row and column the remaining elements are 5 1 1 1 so this is the minor of the first diagonal element similarly we have to do for the second diagonal element and the third diagonal element when you go for the second diagonal element we have to neglect this row and this column and we are going to write the remaining elements that is 1 3 3 1 and finally we go for the third diagonal element omit this row and column and we are going to write 1 1 1 5 so this is my s2 now expand as usual that is 5 minus 1 1 into 1 1 1 minus 9 plus 5 minus 1 when you expand this you will be getting 4 minus 8 plus 4 so your answer is zero next we have to find s3 that is the determinant of the given matrix now you take this so we know how to do the determinant first we have to take this column plus minus plus so 1 into find the determinant of this 2 cross 2 matrix 5 minus 1 next when you go for the second element we have to neglect this row and column and this is going to be minus so minus 1 into 1 into 1 minus 3 then neglect this column and row 
it's going to be plus. So, 1 into 1 minus 15. Simplifying, we will be getting the answer 4 plus 2 minus 42. So, my final answer is minus 36. So, my S1 is 7, S2 is 0, S3 is minus 36. Go and substitute these values in this equation. When you substitute, you should be very careful about the positive and negative signs. So, lambda cube S1 is 7, that is minus 7. Lambda square S2 is 0, just keep it as 0. Lambda minus S3 is minus 36. Already we have minus. So, minus into minus plus 36 equal to 0. You should be very careful with this substitution. If you do any errors in minus plus, then your problem gets wrong. Okay, done. So, now we have to find the roots. There are few methods. Like people say it as synthetic division methods to find the roots or uh, other simplifications. But we are going to do in a different way, in a very simple way. Since the calculator is allowed, you can use 991 MS Casio calculator where we can use some options to solve the equation in calculator and get the roots immediately. Either you can use this calculator generation 2 or generation 1 of 991 MS. Then it is easy for you to solve. Now let us see how to solve and find the roots using the calculator. Before finding the roots, we should be very careful. We have to clear the mode of the calculator. So just press shift button plus mode button in the calculator then you can see the following display i want to clear all the garbage memories in the calculator it may be in vector mode or in radian mode or in degree mode etc i have to clear everything so choose three that is press three then it will ask reset all then when it is asking reset all press equal to button then all your memories in the calculator get reset press equal to again then your calculator will show zero that means your calculator is resetted completely. Now, I want to find the roots for this cubic equation. That is the eigenvalues. To find this, I have to make the calculator into equation mode. So, press mode for three times. You can see this display. I want to choose now to solve my equation. That is equation mode. So, now press 1. Once you press 1, you should be very careful we are not solving unknowns. We are solving the roots for the cubic equation whose degree is 3. So, now press right button in your calculator. When you press right button, you will be seeing like this. I am going to choose degree 3. So, press 3 in your calculator. Once you press 3, it start asking what is A. Now, we have to know the cubic equation format in the calculator. This is our answer. And calculator no like this. So, for calculator A is 1, B is minus 7, C is 0 and D is 36. Hope you understand. So, we have to match this and this. C value is 0, D value is plus 36. So, now enter A equal to 1 and press equal to button. Then it will start asking B value. Press B equal to minus 7 and then press equal to button. Then C value is 0. Enter 0 in your calculator and press equal to. Then D value. The D value is plus 36. So, enter 36 in the calculator. and So, when you press equal to, it will start showing the answer. X1 is equal to 6. That means your first eigenvalue is 6. Now, press equal to again. It will show the second eigenvalue. X2 is equal to minus 2. Then press equal to again, it will show x3. x3 is equal to 3. Therefore, my eigenvalues are 6, minus 2 and 3. So, this is the easiest way and 100% you don't do errors. And according to our UG syllabus, all the eigenvalues are integers. Either you get some positive or negative integers. You never get real number. Suppose you are getting a real number like this, then you did some error in the characteristic equation. Go back, verify the error and come back and get the correct eigenvalue. Hope you understand. So, now the characteristic equation I am writing like this. So, we know the eigenvalues are minus 2, 3 and 6. So, simply before writing the answer, just write by solving. Just we have to give some step by solving. Since it is minus 2, we write lambda plus 2, lambda minus 3, lambda minus 6 equal to 0. From this, I am getting the answer lambda equal to minus 2, 3 and 6. Hope you understand. So, this is the 
simplest way to find eigen value now let us consider one more example so this is different let us find s1 s2 and s3 so for this matrix s1 is going to be 2 6 when you add the leading diagonal elements you will be getting 10 next s2 for s2 we have to consider the minors of the each element so first i am leaving 2 and i am taking this 6 0 0 2 6 0 0 next i am just leaving this element and taking the values 2 4 4 2 next i am just neglecting this row and column and i am going to find 2 0 0 6 is my minor simplifying this will be getting 12 minus 0 plus 4 minus 16 plus 12 minus 0 once you simplify it you will be getting s2 now we are going for s3 determinant of this so we know how to find the determinant so 2 into neglect this row and column and find the determinant of this 12 minus 0 so plus minus plus the next one is 0 so 0 into anything is 0 so i don't want to go for the second step i'll go for the third one so this is plus plus 4 neglecting this row and column will be getting 0 minus 24 so when i simplify this i'll be getting minus 72 so we found our s1 s2 s3 we have to substitute in this equation and then using your calculator we are going to find the roots that is my eigen values so my s1 s2 s3 is there and substitute in the characteristic equation lambda cube s1 is 10 minus 10 lambda square s2 is 12 12 lambda s3 is minus 72 so here we have one minus minus into minus plus 72 equal to 0 so this is my characteristic equation now as usual we are going for the calculator tricks as like in i said in the previous problem take your calculator make into equation mode and now our a is going to be 1 b is minus 10 C is 12 and D is 72. Enter the values. So A value is going to be 1. B value is minus 10 plus equal to and C value is 12 plus equal to again and D value is 72 plus equal to. Once you plus equal to, I can see my roots. My first root is minus 2. And when you plus equal to again. it is showing the second root that is 6 so my two roots are minus 2 and 6 i want to find the third root when you press equal to the calculator is not showing x3 it is showing a again that means don't think that there is no x3 or don't think that the cubic equation has only two roots a cubic equation has at most three roots that means suppose for example the roots may be 1 2 3 three different roots sometimes you will be getting two roots are same that means it has two roots one of the root is repeated twice sometimes you get all the three roots are same it is repeated thrice so in this case what is happened my first root is minus 2 my second root is 6 so the calculator is not showing the third root that means one root is repeating so calculator always shows the non repeated root first and the repeated root next so that mean it is understood that the next root is also 6 so x2 is equal to x3 that is equal to 6 therefore the eigen values are minus 2 6 6 so now you just make up the step since the roots are minus 2 6 6 write one step lambda plus 2 lambda minus 6 lambda minus 6 equal to 0 from this you get the roots hope you understand so if all the roots are different calculator will give you all three roots if two roots are same the calculator will give you first the non repeated root then it will give the repeated root once you have to understand that the next root is also 6 and you have to write lambda is equal to minus 2 comma 6 comma 6 hope you understand now try this in your calculator lambda cube plus 3 lambda square plus 3 lambda plus 1 equal to 0 then when you enter a b c d values your calculator will give only x1 that is minus 1 so what is the meaning of this my x1 x2 x3 everything is same all the three roots are same hope you understand how to find the eigen values from the given matrix thank you students share to your friends subscribe and if you have any doubts post the comments in the description and we see in the next video thank you